What's up guys, Leo here with Dyna Demos, finally bringing you another episode. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is the three year review on my Harbor Freight motorcycle lift. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. And if you guys happen to like the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, guys, first things first, I still got both my bikes. FXR is kind of under construction right now. Dyn has been my daily. But if you're wondering, still got both my bikes, still ride them religiously. There's three main things I want to hit on in this video. One is the price. Two, I'm going to hit on the accessories and upgrades that I've gotten for the motorcycle lift. And then three, I'm going to hit on the actual review for the last three years that I've had it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into the video. First thing I'm going to talk about is the wheel chalk. So this wheel chalk does not come standard on this motorcycle lift. Uh, I purchased it after. Uh, the reason for that being the original one that comes on the lift is this little dinky red one that really doesn't serve purpose as a wheel chalk because it barely locks your tire in place. And also you have to crank it down. It's super annoying. This one, I can just ride my motorcycle up and it locks my wheel in place. And then I can actually get off my bike and cargo strap my bike down so that's super secure on this motorcycle lift with the little red one it does not do that now if you guys want to check out and see the original one that it comes with uh, check out my first video i'll post it up there on the screen so you guys can check that out if you're cur curious as to the original uh, motorcycle chalk that comes on the stand now if you purchase this one you do have to secure it down yourself so i did drill holes in the lift and then secured it down. Uh, but it's been on there for probably two and a half years and I haven't had to do anything else to it. And it was super easy. So again, it's the Pittsburgh motorcycle stand wheel chalk and you can purchase it uh, same place, Harbor Freight. And I just checked their website. You guys can get it for 60 bucks and that's 60 bucks without any coupons. Not too bad of an investment if you're gonna be parking your motorcycle on the stand uh, by yourself a lot. So I would definitely recommend getting the wheel chalk if you plan on uh, using this, this motorcycle lift long term. The second thing I'm going to talk about is this motorcycle scissor lift. Technically, I don't need to consider it part of the Harbor Freight lift itself, but I found this piece necessary after purchasing the uh, lift because honestly, it just makes things easier. Uh, things you can use it for are removing the front tire and the rear tire. Now, if you're going to do the front tire, obviously don't put it on the Harbor Freight lift. But if you're doing the rear tire, this makes it a lot easier. Uh, you just jack the back of the bike up and then you can remove the rear tire really easy. Now, the price on this bad boy, uh, if you type it into Amazon, and I just did this, you can find these anywhere from 60 to a hundred dollars and that's just typing in motorcycle scissor lift and i really didn't do much searching but those were the price ranges that i seen so i definitely recommend getting one of these if you plan on purchasing a lift because honestly it's just going to make your life easier and then maybe some jobs you don't actually want to put it on the lift and you can just use this but i use the two together so i'm going to consider it part of this video again that's a motorcycle scissor lift Okay, here's what you guys actually came here for. So the Harbor Freight lift itself. First thing I wanna talk about is the price so I don't forget it. Right now on Harbor Freight's website, I just checked the price, it was $550. If anybody knows where to get a coupon or find a cheaper one, if somebody watching the video wants to buy one, please post it in the comments. Uh, so maybe somebody could get a deal on one of these because I do not remember paying that much. I'm pretty sure me and Rod paid somewhere around like $350 uh, for ours. Maybe it was just a special deal. I don't know what's up with the economy right now, but I could not believe how expensive it is right now. Now let's talk about some key features. Now let's talk about key features. So the motorcycle lift comes standard with a wheel chalk. Obviously this one is an upgraded one uh, just cause the original one, I didn't think it was very good but it does come with the wheel chalk, so you're not gonna need to purchase one unless you want an upgraded one. Second thing, it comes with tie downs. 
Uh, you can even drill more, more holes, more forward or more aft, whatever you wanted. And this base is really sturdy, so it could definitely withstand uh, extra holes being drilled in it. You wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, next, it comes with a removable piece on the platform. Pretty sure that's just for if you're jacking up the rear of the bike and you need more clearance to get the tire out, uh, you could remove it right there. Uh, next thing, if you're limited on space, it does have the option. I can remove the ramp. Uh, sometimes I find myself like if I want to close the garage door, because really I'm working with limited space here, um, I'll run out of room and then I need to remove the ramp so I can still close the garage door. Moving on from that, it does come with wheels, which make it way easier to move if you're just pushing it. Uh, but if you're not trying to lift it, you can slide this thing around pretty easily. Um, I haven't had an issue doing that. Lifting it, you would definitely need two people. It's a little bit awkward. It comes with a removable pressure release is the only way I could describe this. Uh, you can remove that really easy. What this one does is if you jack it up, uh, you can just press this down and then it releases pressure. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then this foot uh, pedal right here is how you jack it up. I'll show you guys. That's how you release pressure. And you guys may be wondering what this is right here. So this is just a stop. So if you're gonna set your bike up on the stand for multiple days and you're gonna leave it jacked up, always use the stop. What the stop does is it prevents the seals from going bad on the hydraulic, uh, the hydraulic jack. Um, it won't go bad as fast because what it's doing is it's putting all the pressure on the stop instead of on the jack. Now, I've heard a lot of guys complaining about their jack going bad and I'm not pointing fingers, but sometimes I do think they're not using the stop when they should be always use a stop if you're gonna leave a bike up here because it's gonna stop the jack from going bad as fast um but maybe some people just got a bad jack but probably not uh it comes with little adjusters here so you if your floor is like not level or uh these might honestly just be because it's on little caster wheels and you don't want it sliding around you could jack it up Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I always load my bike up myself and I've never had issues and I've never even come close to dropping my bike. So you can use those if you want. I just wanna show you guys a quick video of it operating and then we'll get to the final review just so you guys believe me. So it's super easy to jack up. Pull the stop out like I was saying. Now you just press the pressure release and then it'll go all the way down and it gets pretty small so if you're limited on space like me it's really helpful now you guys are probably like lego can you please just shut up and give us your three-year review so here it is guys would i purchase this thing again 100 percent i absolutely would here are the three main reasons why one this thing is a back saver. Now, anytime I do an oil change or just a little maintenance on my bike, I don't have to freaking bend over, be crawling around on the ground. You've seen this thing gets pretty freaking high. I can jack it up to the sky and I can basically stand and work on my bike and I'm not bent over at all. That right there is worth it to me for how much that you got a wrench on these freaking bikes. Second thing is honestly, it's made me some money. Uh, I'm out here in San Diego for a while. I was working on bikes pretty consistently just in my little garage. Uh, so maybe you can even make some money off of it. I've definitely made my money back uh, just on this lift with the jobs that I've done, which are chain conversions, oil changes, everything like that. And then third, I've helped plenty of buddies out uh, with maintenance on their motorcycle because I got a motorcycle lift. They all know it's way easier to do an oil change on a freaking lift than it is to crawl around on the ground, you know, whether it's freaking cold, wet, whatever. Uh, but that right there, those three things are the main reasons why I say this lift is worth it. Plus, three years later, still working as it should, and I haven't had any issues with it.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, hopefully, maybe this convinced some of you guys to go out and get a motorcycle lift yourself, whether it's a Harbor Freight one or not. Uh, I have no regrets purchasing this motorcycle lift. Uh, the last three years, it's really held up. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked the video. And if you guys liked the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out.